We're going to take a look at two teams we've covered intensely here on Star News. We're talking about the Patrick Henry Patriots along with the Rockingham County Eagles. How will they do? Rockingham from North Carolina usually has mostly North Carolina guys and Virginia, you know, Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry usually has, you know, mostly the Virginia guys. Right. right. So it's, you know, it, the schools are what, within 20 miles, 25 miles of each other. It's a pretty good rivalry. Right, right. Top of the fourth inning, there's pitchers duel, nothing to nothing, and um, it's. I think we've had probably maybe two base runners the whole game, but both pitchers are on their game today. Sports at both Patrick Henry Community College and Rockingham Community College has become quite a big focus in the last several years. It's brought to enrollment, especially at. I'm sure at Rockingham, but I know at Patrick Henry, it's brought the uh, the um, enrollment up, especially the young folks, the kids yeah. coming out of. Um, well, here we go. We've got another base runner. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's brought the enrollment up at Patrick Henry. Athletics, they're probably bringing in close to, you know, 150. You know, with soccer coming in next year, they'll probably be closer to 200. Next that's, almost like, that's like a small factory. Right. And those kids are all here, young folks, I shouldn't say kids, young men and women, are here and um, they're renting apartments. They're Buy, you know, they're spending money. Buying cars. Buying cars. I sell them cars. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like a, um, and it's a, it's a economic, um, you know, impact to this community. I'm sure it is in Rockingham too. Nelson now wants the community to see the quality at the community college sports level. So I've coached this for several years, right. but uh, they don't realize the magnitude of the athleticism that's on this field. Mm -hmm. And most of these junior college teams are better than their. And I don't mean they're better than some of the other divisions that are yeah. four-year schools. Right. You know, most of these, a lot of these junior college teams are better than the four-year, you know, the lower-level four-year schools, and uh, they play a little, little higher-level baseball. You know, you get the kids, you know, they want to get drafted, and sometimes you get the kids that academically can't go anywhere else at a Division One school. They come here to get their grades up so they can go back to the Division One, or you get the kids that want to. Um, get drafted or they don't go high enough in a draft or they come here and they stay a year or two years and move up in a draft so you know the quality of the athlete is you know and if you're going to play you know if I was telling a young man coming through you know unless he got a, a real good signing on a division one level I'd go to junior college for out because you got all your options that, that way gotcha. you know once you sign on a four-year school you kind of locked right. and you never ever move you never ever go to a junior college you know I call them all ugly ducklings. You know, they turn into a swan, and you know, you know, you can go into a pro draft or a Division One school signs you. You know, you can get your education paid for. Here, the education probably costs you, a, I don't say a tenth or less than a tenth. You know, a tenth, well, less than 15 percent probably what it's going to cost you a private four-year school. Right. So you know, it's it's really economical, and that's why it's got popular. Right. Nelson believes that community college can really open the doors for the students and athletes. But, you know, saying, you know, these kids need another step to go. You know, not all of them can play Division One, or not all of them. And then some of them couldn't afford to go to the Division Threes where some of the stuff, you know, enrollment, you know, costs you like $30,000 a year. Mm -hmm. They just couldn't afford it. Yeah. Then in, in Max called me. Max mm -hmm. Wing called me and, you know, wanted to know if I would help start this program. And I said, yeah, and I, I, that's the reason I started it, because what was going on in that dugout during the summer was coaching Legion ball. I, I knew those kids needed another step to go through that we didn't have, we didn't offer. Mm -hmm. And it worked. I mean, it's, well, you can see, we, I think last fall, or this fall, well, last fall we had like 50, 55 kids show up here trying to make this ball team. We asked Nelson for a prediction of the game during the fourth quarter. And, um, Is that good news? That's yeah, good news. <laughs> the home team won. Now I mean, PA scored a run. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know, it's hard for me not to be a little biased. Sure. I mean, I've coached it for so long. Sure. But the, um, you know, it's a, um, um, it's this is probably going to be a close ball game. And you know, if the pitching stands up all nine innings. Mm -hmm. You got a prediction? Well, I'm PH by three. All right. We'll see. <laughs> we'll come back. Come on. All right. Okay. He was right on. The score turned out to be 1-4 to four in favor of the Patrick Henry Community College Patriots. In the second game, the Patriots took the Eagles 1-3. to three. You know, we've got, like I said, you got to understand, when I, started, when I started this team, I didn't probably have 14 ball players. Now it's attracting like 50 kids, 
50 young men here in the fall to try to make this ball team. Right. So, I mean, that's pretty big. Right. Uh, Nelson believes there's big future in community college sports. And it's happening in softball and the basketball, both basketball programs too. But I think, you know, when we take in soccer next year, you're going to see another explosion. I mean, it's going to be, you know, be big for this area. Covering sports in Marginal Henry County, I'm Charles Work reporting for Star News.